Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones Day Trade Setups for today. So uh, we still haven't had the retest that I would be interested in, and that is pretty much down here. So we've had a inside bar form in the three hour, but it could be a triangle forming as well. Uh, nothing really exciting had happened yesterday. Uh, you can see we have a pretty strong trend line. Oscillators have crossed over moving down on the three hour. So, you know, this is all indicating that we are either going to be going sideways or sort of drifting lower onto some form of structure. So the closest bit of structure, and I just want to line it up perfectly, is this 36 to 39 area. So let's just get down to the hour. That's what we want to pay attention to. As you can see, nothing really going on yesterday. Big up, big downs, um, lots of confusion. Oscillators are trending the downside. So um, on the hour, I'd be watching the oscillators. They start getting down to the uh, 20 area here at the bottom. That's where I'll start looking to see what's the closest bit of structure available and then be looking for opportunities. Bear in mind that that swing high there is also structure. And you can see it was tested twice yesterday. So uh, is it a case of third time lucky or third time unlucky? And then coming down to the major breakout at 36.239. So that's kind of the view that I've got at the moment. You can see there's the last major breakout there. And you can see we broke through it uh, and yesterday we didn't test it. You would have expected us to test that breakout. That did not materialize. So I would expect that to be tested sometime in the future. And uh, just dropping down the 15 minute, just want to watch for gaps. Yep, there's 15 minute gaps there. This time of the year you can pretty much write a story about uh, gap closes because these gaps, is the liquidity, liquidity in the market is so low that whenever there's gaps, you'll see the algorithm be, be um, targeting them. So I would expect at least this area to be targeted again, and you would expect 36239 um, to be tested. If it holds, well, even if it doesn't hold, there's definitely to be a bounce off here. So I'd be looking for a long off here, um, even if it's just a case of sort of along there with a tight stop, like a 50 point stop loss, and you're looking for 100.7980, you could probably come back to 104. So it's a two to one trade. So that's kind of the view that I've got on the Dow Jones at the moment. Uh, wait for the structure and then see if there's an opportunity to buy into it. There's no bearish structure, uh, no head and shoulders. I suppose there's a diagonal one. I don't like diagonal head and shoulders, but S&P has got a quite, quite a nice uh, head and shoulders uh, pattern at the moment, which um, probably means it's gonna drop a little bit. Uh, but pullbacks are going to offer value on the Dow and on the S&P. Uh, that's kind of what I'm waiting for. Wait for the pullback and uh, buy into it, get the value. I uh, hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you uh, tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.